bioengineers have repurposed the uh, non-working CRISPR system to make a smaller version of the genome engineering tool. Its diminutive size should make it easier to deliver into human cells, tissues and the body for gene therapy. The common analogy for CRISPR gene editing is that it works like molecular scissors cutting out select sections of DNA. Stanley Shi, assistant professor of bioengineering at Stanford University, likes that analogy, but he thinks it's time to reimagine CRISPR as a Swiss Army knife. He says that CRISPR can be as simple as a cutter or more advanced as a regulator, an editor, a labeler, and imager. Many applications are emerging from this exciting field. The many different CRISPR systems in use are being clinically tested for gene therapy of diseases in the eye, liver, and brain. However, remain limited in their scope because they all suffer from the same flaw. That is, they are too large and uh, therefore too hard to deliver into cells, tissues, or living organisms. In a paper published in the journal Molecular Cells, he and his collaborators announced what they believe is a major step forward for CRISPR, an efficient, multipurpose mini CRISPR system. Various the commonly used CRISPR systems with names like Cas9 and Cas12a, denoting various versions of CRISPR associated proteins, are made out of 1000 to 1500 amino acids. Their Cas mini has 529. The researchers confirmed in experiments that Cas mini could delete, activate, and edit genetic code just like its beefier counterparts. Its smaller size means it should be easier to deliver into human cells and the human body, making it a potential tool for treating diverse ailments including eye disease, organ degeneration, and genetic diseases generally.